welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Haley, and i make lifestyle videos here on youtube so if that takes a box for you you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below it looks like this right here go ahead and join the family i promise you will not regret it we are on the road to 3k i'm gonna make that a thing we're on the road to 3k i'm at 2.5 right now like i estimate so let's see if we can make it to 3k if you enjoy my videos or if you feel like you will enjoy my videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get started with today's video so as y'all can tell by this title i'm back with another hygiene video today's video is going to be a summer hygiene routine this hygiene routine is citrus themed i kind of tried to go out of the box and get some different scented products for this video and the theme that i went for is citrus because it's summery now i know i'm very very last minute with this it's already the end of july summer's probably about to be over and like a good month and school is about to start but better late than never i'm still coming with the video i did try out some products that i thought were going to be my summer routine but i didn't end up really liking them and i ended up changing them so the products that i changed to i actually like so that's why i'm finally getting around to doing this video so i'm going to be going over everything in this video my shower routine my skincare routine as well as my out of shower routine my mouth hygiene routine and i think that's about it but let's go ahead and start with my end shower routine which is my favorite favorite part so i have most of my products all in this been because i knew it was going to be a lot of stuff this is not all of my in shower stuff this is just most of my actual hygiene routine products okay so first i'm going to start with my regular in shower routine so this will just be my regular everyday shower routine without the shading without the exfoliating my first step that i like to do when i get in the shower is go ahead and wash my body two to three times with a dove bar soap lately i've been really loving the sensitive bar which is like the light blue color this is the dove white bar this is also one of my favorite you already know but lately i've just been leaning more towards the sensitive sensitive bar because it is fragrance free and it's made for sensitive skin and I've been using a scented body wash lately and just a lot of different scented products so I kind of want to give my skin a break when it comes to my bar soap so what I will do is I will get in the shower and wash my body about three times with the bar soap and I use just the regular you know like wash rag like a little small body cloth towel and I go ahead and make sure that I'm just really working that soap in there and getting clean all the cracks and crevices that I'm just getting everywhere and really really cleaning my body after I go ahead and wash my body those three times with my Dove bar soap in the regular washcloth. I will go ahead and go in with my scented body wash. Let's throw this out the way. Ooh. So I am so excited about this one, guys. It's the Dove Limited Edition Summer Care Body Wash. Y'all know my winter routine. I had the winter care body wash. I love that one. I don't know if y'all like know the difference, but I know sometimes Dove has a more fragrance-oriented body wash where it'll be colorful. And this one is pink and it not. How do I explain it? Dove has some body washes that are more geared towards being scented instead of moisturizing. And this one is one of their like color body washes. It's a very like light pink. I just feel like compared to their other body washes and the body washes that are usually like white and like a thicker consistency, this one is not super, super moisturizing. I'm getting carried away. Okay, so it's the Summer Care Body Wash. It is in the same grapefruit and lemon balm and it refreshes and replenishes the dehydrated summer skin. It smells so good. It smells like grapefruit and orange mixed together. It's just a really, really nice citrus scent. And this is what inspired me to make my body summer care products citrus scent inspired that's a tongue twister so yeah after those three body washes with my regular dove bar soap i go ahead and lather my body with this with my lufa i do not use the same rag that i wash my body with unscented to wash my body with a scented body wash if that makes sense i go ahead and use my lufa i know lufas aren't the best but i don't really mind using them as long as i change them out regularly so they don't like you know capture bacteria and i really really like this body wash all it just smells so good it makes the whole bathroom smell so good when i get out of it and i just really really love this scent y'all know i usually go for like the shea butter the cocoa butter the vanilla scents i never really step outside the box and do like a citrus scent or any of the more perfumey scents this is definitely like a little bit on the perfumey side so i decided to try it out and i actually really really like it i like to get it super super soapy and get like a good thick lather that's not too watery so i can just really really work it into my skin but one thing that i won't do with this body wash is wash my sensitive areas like my private areas i like to steer clear of scented body washes going in any like you know downstairs areas any private areas because that can cause irritation this is a super strong scent and even if it wasn't i just keep scented products away from that area in general because i know that, that can cause irritation and that can really throw things off this just goes strictly body strictly legs strictly arms strictly torso everywhere but you know 
the important areas. Okay, so that is just my regular basic shower routine. Now I'm gonna show you guys my extra step shower routine where I exfoliate, I shave, I do the most. So of course, I'll get in the shower and I wash my body about two times with my regular Dove bar soap. And then that's when I'll decide to stop and pause and go ahead and exfoliate. And for exfoliator, I have been using the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the scent pomegranate seeds and shea butter and y'all this smells so good and again since this summer care routine is citrus scent and citrus theme this pairs so well with the body wash y'all it like actually really intensifies it i've been watching a lot of hygiene videos where they stack their scents of their body wash their exfoliator their lotion their body mist and it really intensifies the smell y'all it really does work i just love their body polishes y'all know i love tree hut i really do for their scent and it's super moisturizing but that one is definitely more abrasive if you kind of wanted something a little softer on your skin but that still works i definitely recommend the dove body polishes it's so soft of a product it just feels like you're putting on lotion and like you're getting a really really good exfoliation out of it so yes i'll go ahead and exfoliate my whole body again i do avoid private areas i'll go under my armpits i'll go on my chest i'll go on my stomach my back legs who is stomping why does it sound like it's people stomping upstairs and nobody lives upstairs so after I exfoliate, I'll go ahead and shave. And y'all know that I use my Big Solo razors. If you have watched any of my previous hygiene routines, y'all know these are my favorite razors. You can get them from Target. Walmart is where I get them from. You can literally find these anywhere. Like I've actually found these at Marshalls before. I've read different places that it's important to exfoliate before you shave. I used to exfoliate after I shave, which would probably cause the irritation. There's not really a way that you have to do it, but I know there's some benefits to exfoliating before you shave. I just can't remember it right now. Oh, and for shaving, I don't use the shaving cream in one of my other videos that I went hygiene shopping in I tried to purchase the shaving cream and it was nothing wrong with the shaving cream y'all but I just stick to soap and water I feel like it's so much easier for me and it works for me I personally never get razor bumps or angry on hairs off of using soap and water let me knock on wood and then after I exfoliate and I shave I'll go ahead and go in with my regular dove bar soap one more time just to get all of the dirt and any loose hair off of my body and really get another good cleaning after that I'll go ahead and go in with my sensei body wash the dove summer care body wash and get a really good smell good lather in i keep looking up here because my products over here i'm sorry the scents of the body wash and the exfoliator pair so well it's like you're stacking citrusy scents on top of each other and it just smells so so good together so now i'm moving on to my out of shower hygiene routine this is where all the lotions the perfumes the body mists all come in let me go ahead and grab the tub again i'm gonna just set this right here because i'm kind of tired of reaching for it okay so Okay, so I found a new product that I've never even tried before and I never even knew existed that pairs really well with this routine. It is the Jergens Body Butter Sweet Citrus um, Body Butter? Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that one. It's in the Sweet Citrus Scent. And as y'all know, of course, I was looking for the citrus thing when I came up with this whole idea to do this summer hygiene routine. It pairs really, really well, of course, with all the other products that I've mentioned. It is a little perfumey, okay? It's a little bit on the perfumey side. It could be a little strong. I think it would have balanced it out a little more if they toned it down just a little bit with the scent or if they added like something sweet in the scent to kind of mellow it out. I actually picked this up at the same time that I picked up that Dove body wash and I was so excited to try the two together. They really do pair well together. Y'all know Jergens is just a reliable brand. So this is my lotion that I use sometimes. I don't use this all the time because like I said, it's very perfumey. So I try to steer clear of it every single day. Strong scents can definitely trigger like my eczema back up or my allergies too. My regular lotion that I like to use, which is just the everyday lotion, y'all. I cannot rave about this one enough. My boyfriend actually put me onto this lotion because I didn't even know this one existed. It's the Dermacil brand and I've used the Dermacil brand since I was little because again I've had eczema but I did not know that they had a cocoa butter scent y'all and this lotion guess how much it was it was only a dollar from the family dollar and it smells so good y'all y'all may think it smells like regular cocoa butter but no like the only way I can describe it it's like a cocoa butter milkshake like it's like cocoa butter with some extra added vanilla it just smells so good like y'all i love this lotion and it's super moisturizing you already know i love my cocoa butter scents if i'm feeling like i need to take a break from the scents and give my you know skin a little breather i'll go ahead and use this and this is just my everyday lotion no matter what another product that i've mentioned here on this channel before is my vaseline intensive care cocoa radiant body oil i really haven't been using this one as much i will say because it's been really really hot out 
outside and the thing about body oil is that you do not need a lot of it at all you mix in just a drop with your lotion and it will take your lotion a long way but if you put it too much you can start feeling greasy slipping and sliding across your leather seats in the summer and it can just be too much so i haven't been using it that often but this is still one of my favorite products if i feel like i'm just you know particularly a little dry or if i feel like i need a little bit of moisture after my whole shave and exfoliation routine i will go ahead and mix this with my lotion you can pick this up at walmart they have the up and up brand that i usually like to get because it's a little cheaper this one is pretty expensive it's around like five six dollars and the walmart brand is cheaper but does the exact same thing next up is going to be deodorant and you already know that i use men's deodorant because your girl sweats a lot <laughs> lately i've been using the degree men deodorant in the scent cool rush yeah i don't really get it for the scent like it's one of the cooler scents the calmer scents that aren't like overly intense and like cologne -y. this one is definitely cheaper than old spice this one's like around like three dollars i believe in old spice can be pushing five so if you're on a budget i definitely recommend getting the degree men deodorant it works so good i've definitely been wanting to try out natural deodorants but it's so hot in texas right now that i just can't afford doing that week of detox where you're not using any deodorant y'all because <laughs> I would not make it. Like, I definitely would not survive with how much I sweat. We'll see if in the winter months I end up trying a natural deodorant because I do feel like sometimes my armpits can get a little irritated with all of the harsher deodorants and all of the scents and stuff like that. So we'll see. Stay tuned for my winter hygiene routine that is coming in the future future to see if I ever make the switch. This is not aesthetically pleasing, but I just don't feel like reaching over like 20 times to get different products. Now we're gonna go into body mist and body scents. So for my body mist, I've been using two body mists lately from Bath & Body Works but one is in my car. It is the Cotton Candy Clouds Body Mist from Bath & Body Works and it smells so good. Of course it smells like cotton candy y'all. They have the notes on it on the back so it's going to be sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. And y'all know how I feel about vanilla like it's just, I just love a sweet scent. And then my other scent that I like to use is the Strawberry Pound Cake scent from Bath & Body Works as well. It smells so good. Y'all can already imagine what it smells like, literally like a strawberry cupcake. I went to Marshalls and I decided to pick up this little, you know, like, you know, a little $10 perfume, nothing crazy. It is Summer Breeze by OP. And as you can imagine, it smells like the beach. I mean, look at the bottle. Like, you can tell it smells like the beach. And this actually goes along with my citrus scented themed body routine because it actually has notes of orange blossom in it it doesn't match exactly now it does smell like the beach but it doesn't just like it's not just a polar opposite like you can tell it actually blends really good just in a different way with all the other products and i don't spray too much of this at all because you know it can kind of be overpowering you know sometimes a beach scent could be like you know okay that's the beach that's sunscreen we don't want to smell like sunscreen so that is going to be all for my out of shower routine nothing crazy i kind of switched up depending on how i feel for the day so now we can go ahead and move on to skincare items i only use two items i honestly don't do that much with my skin as I should. Y'all know that I love my Vino and that in all of my last routines I've been using Aveeno products, but Aveeno is really, really expensive. Although I do recommend them for sensitive skin, but I've been trying to try more products, not only because that brand is expensive, but because I've just kind of been wanting to see more growth and more progress in my skin. So for face wash, I finally tried out the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I'm pretty sure y'all saw me get this in my last Hygiene Shop With Me video. I've been liking it. It's nothing too crazy. <laughs> I haven't seen a drastic, drastic difference in my skin. I do think that this is a really good face wash for not um, irritating your skin at all. I don't get any irritation from this face wash at all. And it's a very gentle, nice, clean. It makes my skin feel really, really clean when it starts foaming and I can just really work it in my skin. Like I just love how this feels on your skin. And then for moisturizers, I've been using the Illuminating Daily Moisture with sunscreen um, SPF 15. It's from the Up and Up brand. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I do not recommend this um, face moisturizer. I got it because it said it could be compared to the Aveeno Brightening Daily Moisturizer and that one's like $13 and this one was way cheaper. But this one is really, really thick. It doesn't really go on that great. Like, I don't know. I just don't really like it. I don't really like the quality of the product. I really do wanna try the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. So I think I might get that product next, but I've just really been trying to use all of this up so we can get, so we can be done with it. But that's all for skincare. Like I told you guys, I don't really do as much as I probably should for my skin because I expect it to look great, but I only use two products. So I don't know. <laughs> but now we're going to move on to mouth hygiene. So for mouth hygiene, I've kind of been playing around with different toothpastes. As y'all know in my last Hygiene Shop With Me video, I did pick up the Optic White toothpaste and mm, 
I don't really see anything spectacular and I'm not talking about the whitening because I know when you use a whitening toothpaste it's gonna take a minute to actually whiten your teeth I'm talking about like the foaming and just really getting my mouth clean and feeling like my breath was just really really fresh with it honestly didn't feel like it foamed up enough for my liking so I decided to change and try out a different toothpaste that I've actually really really been liking it's the Colgate total toothpaste whole mouth health and it's also a whitening toothpaste and it has a whole list on the front of all the things that it does and I've really really been liking how much it foams up in my mouth it makes my mouth feel clean and it's also nice to know that it's doing that while it's also whitening and caring for the health of my gums so I'll just brush my teeth like regular with that and then when I have a little bit of toothpaste still left over in my mouth I'll go ahead and use my tongue brush that I got from Target this is just I think it's the Oral B brand and it really really does make my breath feel a lot fresher it has a brush and then it also has like a built-in scraper and then the last step for oral hygiene is going to be mouthwash I don't know why this bottle is so sticky please excuse how sticky this bottle looks this is just the up and up brand antiseptic mouthwash that is a dupe for one of the Listerine mouthwashes it does burn when you swish it it burns really really bad so I kind of just have learned that I prefer for my mouthwash to kind of be in the middle like it can sting just a little bit but it doesn't need to burn my mouth off but I also don't like when it just does absolutely nothing it doesn't make my breath feel fresh so I need to find a good mouthwash that kind of balances out both of those things so that is actually the last thing for this video as y'all can see my routine hasn't really changed too much I do like to try new products but I also don't like to steer too far away from like you know the basics and what I know works for me personally but I would say that I've incorporated some new products in this one some stuff that y'all haven't seen like a million times before I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that y'all got some ideas of some stuff to try for what's left of the summer or you can still it doesn't matter you don't have to use these products just in the summer okay you can smell like what you want to smell any time of the year and that's on what you already know I don't even have to say so I hope that you guys like this video and if you did do not forget to give it a big big like down below also don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know your favorite summer hygiene routine product so far you already know I love recommendations I love to hear the things that you guys are using because I definitely definitely will go to the store and try it out okay and then lastly don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below again we are on the road to 3k okay so do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you are feeling like you like my videos or you've been watching my videos and you just haven't subscribed yet and turn on my post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a video so you're not late to the party, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys!